642 this morning. Time for a tropical update. And first off, the tropics are a lot quieter than they were last week. Dorian is finally no more. It died up in the northern Atlantic after impacting Canada, though, with some intense winds. Uh, meanwhile, Gabrielle has actually been with us for a while. We just haven't been talking about it because it hasn't been impacting anyone. And it's still not impacting anyone. And it kind of a, is a messy looking storm, but still packing 60 mile per hour sustained winds, gust to 70. Uh, this is the kind of storm we like, though, because it will continue to not impact anyone. It's going to move into those colder waters of the northern Atlantic. So we'll be talking about it for a couple more days, but it's going to be gradually weakening. That said, there's still a couple more areas to watch in the Atlantic, but the chance of development notice is just 20 to 30 percent chance. What we're most concerned about is this area here and notice the direction headed towards the Bahamas, not something they want to hear. And unfortunately, it will bring them rain, but we don't think that it has a high chance of becoming an actual tropical depression or tropical storm. It seems like an outside chance because the good news is that what we weren't seeing last week, we are now is a lot of wind shear over the Caribbean. So that's why these chances of development aren't super high because we think that wind shear is going to keep these little waves of low pressure, just waves, but we'll have to keep an eye on it. If the wind shear goes away again, these things could develop and potentially other waves could develop, but hopefully that wind shear will stay in place for a long time. Uh, sea breeze showers and storms today. Uh, that means the best chance, as usual, Cameron and Willis County. You have a 30% chance of seeing showers and storms. That does include northeastern Adal County. You always have a little bit better luck, usually, of seeing rain. Most of Adal County, we're just talking about a 20% chance of showers and storms. And as usual, those showers and storms fall apart later on in the day. So you only have a 10% chance of seeing rain in Rio Grande City out near Falcon Lake. But maybe, maybe it'll happen for you. But there's a much better chance that you're going to stay dry. And really, everybody has a better chance of staying dry than seeing rain today. If you want to make sure you stay dry, go ahead and carry the umbrella. But I will say there's a pretty good chance you may not need it, especially if you live in Hidalgo or Star County. 94 is going to be our average high in the valley. A lot of us are just going to see partly cloudy skies and breezy conditions, gusts around 25 miles per hour. The rain will mainly be in the afternoon hours, but a lot of us will probably stay dry. And a lot of us are going to stay dry tonight with partly to mostly clear skies. In fact, the only chance of rain is late tonight and near the coast. Again, a few showers, kind of like what we saw last night, are going to try and stream in, but they're not going to be very impressive if you do see those showers. The lows are going to reach around 76. Tomorrow looks like a repeat of the day. It's going to be partly cloudy. It's going to be breezy. There are going to be isolated showers and storms, mainly in the afternoon. Average chance of rain about 20%. A little bit better chance near the coast, a little bit smaller chance out west, and once again, highs around 94. Now, starting on Wednesday, the rain chances start to climb. We're still not talking about huge rain chances. By the time we get to Thursday and Friday, though, a 40% chance of showers and storms, a little wave of low pressure enhances the rain chances. Once it starts to work away from us, though, the rain chances drop. 30% chance of rain Saturday, 20% chance of showers and storms on Sunday. On your first one five AccuWeather forecast. More news right after this break.